Welcome back to Inside Indiana Business and a special all women's edition of the show. I'm Tia Agnew, co-founder and CEO of New Day Craft. Women-owned businesses continue to pop up all over the state, from a French-inspired bakery to savory meat-filled tamales, or a tea cafe founded by a former WNBA fever phenom to a one-of-a-kind cooking studio. Yelp's Midwest Regional Director, Brittany Smith, is here with a look at some of the unique businesses across our state. Hey, so Brittany, Tia. yeah, thanks for being here again. I can't wait to hear all about these women-owned businesses. Thanks so much. How perfect to have you uh, with us to highlight all of these businesses. Excellent. So let's go ahead and dive in. Yeah. Milk and Honey, located in Plainfield, like you mentioned, a mm -hmm. French-inspired cafe. Uh, Milk and Honey stemmed out of the owner Jenna's dream to start a bakery, and now she's created this space that the Yelp reviews are raving about as being a cozy atmosphere, somewhere that you want to work for a few hours, grab one of their popular chocolate croissants or macaroons, and make an afternoon of it. It's a beautiful space in Plainfield. That sounds amazing and makes me hungry already. Yes. And, and so, and speaking of hungry, now yes. next to one of my favorite places for tamales in the city. Yes, the tamale place. Exactly. They have a location at Rockville Road as well as the city market. This is one of the top reviewed places actually in Indianapolis. You can go there to find what they call the half pound tamales. Ooh. And the owner, Angela Green, she was inspired back in the 90s when she did a backpack backpacking trip in Mexico, met her future husband, Vladimir, came back and started this business. And now you can go there and you can have some of the best tamales, the chipotle beef, the mm. chicken tamales, as well as their homemade chips and salsa are standouts in the reviews. That all sounds delicious. Yes. So now I will just talk about a, one of my favorite places in the city. I was just there this yes. morning me meeting a friend, the Tease Me Cafe. Yes, located in the Heron Morton neighborhood. Um, I'm glad you mentioned it. Actually, this was owned by Tamika Catchings, one of the WNBA fever players. She's truly created a community space there. So you're not only going for the tea, they have great programming throughout the month. They have a book club. They have, you know, guest speakers coming in. There's truly something you can always find there. Cozy fireplace right in the center. It's great for meetings. And actually, when you check in on Yelp, you get $2 off your meal. So it's oh, a nice fantastic. little bonus there. Oh, yes. Gosh, I love what everybody does with Yelp. Yes. <laughs> so, so now going from food to skincare, the Soapy Gnome. This is a new one for me. Tell yes. us all about it. Yeah. So this business actually stemmed out of the owner being a, a science teacher at school, huh. truly inspired by experimenting with the soaps and the ingredients and now she's using everything from local beers with breweries around the state to create her uh, concoctions right there in the shop so you can go in you can find products for men and women great way to shop local oh that sounds fantastic yes. so then spa nature yes located in jeffersonville southern part mm. of the state located right across uh, from louisville you can go there to have massages they do everything from hot stone massages to couples um, to swedish massage whatever you've been needing you know to get those extra kinks out that's a great spot to do it. Oh, it sounds fantastic. So what else do yes. we have to tell? Oh, now tell me more about this Sprouts Cooking School. Yes, located in Carmel. So this is a great spot. More and more people are wanting to teach their kids how to cook, mm -hmm. how to um, know the sources of the food. And one of the fun programs that they have there is cooking classes starting as young as three all the way up to adults. So you can go there for mommy and me classes. They even have a program where you can do cake baking as well as make your own restaurant classes. Oh, that's awesome. So it's for, it's for kids and parents yes oh, yes so you can they have everything from four-day classes all the way up to a couple weeks program in the summer how awesome that, that I, I tell you the, the things that are happening around this this state with women-owned businesses are just fantastic yes hopefully it inspires people to go out and support a new one find one in their backyard it's not hard to come by anymore <laughs> excellent well thanks again Brittany and um, well you know it's great to be here with you thanks to you yeah thank you